In the 4th century new rivers appeared in Illyria, Celtic tribes. Armed with long swords they made terror in the regions they invaded. They firstly occupied Pannonia, and ravaged many other Illyrian lands. Then, their task became the treasure of the Sanctuary of Delphi. But in their way to Delphi, there was a strong kingdom, the Macedon. Therefore they waited for a long time, over a century. In the year 280 BC, the old dream was coming true. Alexander the Great was no longer to live, and Epiot army of Pyrrhus was fighting Rome in Italy. Three strong armies of Celtic tribes marched through Thrace, Dardania, and Macedonia in order to arrive in Delphi. Dardanian king, Monun, offered 20,000 soldiers to help the king of Macedon, Ptolemy Caronus, but Ptolemy Caronos refused this help. Then Dardanian king said, The glorious kingdom of Macedonia soon will fall, because of the arrogance of that young boy. In 279 BC, the Celtic army under Bolgos defeated the Macedonian army and killed Ptolemy Caronos. Then the Celts raided Macedonia and returned to north in their homeland. The other Celtic army of 152,000 foot soldiers and 20,000 knights, led by Branus and Osicorius marched to Greece. In 279 BC Branus and Osicorius were defeated by Athenians in the famous Thermopylae. Branus seeing that everything was over, killed himself, while Osicorius returned to north with survived Celts. Passing through Dardania. Celts were killed systematically, by, Dardanians, who wanted revenge. So terribly were the Celts defeated by Illyrian powers, 